Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Uh, I started recording this already and it didn't go quite as I expected, but it turns out I wasn't recording uh, the audio. So I need to start again anyway. Let me show you this anyhow. I built this tunnel out in the nether. It goes a long ways out. We are 700 and some blocks out away from zero zero. And uh, portal, portal was supposed to go to the uh, taiga, the modified taiga island. Um, however, does not. It leads to a, a cave at like Y22. So we're probably deep under the OE. What's the biome here? Deep ocean. Yeah, we're we're under the ocean. There's an Enderman somewhere here. There's probably other caves nearby. I do definitely hear an Enderman. Um, I lit up the cave, took care of a couple zombies that were down over here. Nothing too exciting. And not what I expected. I fully expected to come out of my little taiga base. So I either I did my math wrong or I wrote down coordinates wrong. Um, but something, I screwed, I screwed something up so that's that. So, but this was only thing one of what I was planning on doing today. So, uh, I haven't recorded in a little bit. It's the end of May. Last weekend I was at Maker Fair, which was pretty cool. Um, Spent most of the time at the craft space booth and uh, we we had member projects so we had one project which was a levitating lamp which used a electromagnet to levitate but not like f above a base it levitated the lamp from below a frame which is uh, a little bit more complicated than over a base and you may have seen stuff that like spinning tops and stuff that levitate over a base where they just have a magnet and it kind of sits on a magnetic field. Uh, this is a little bit more involved. There's an active electromagnet which helps stabilize uh, the lamp. Hello, Mr. Blaze. Um, and you notice there is a second nether fortress here, which I have not gone into and explored all. Oh, and there's a there's a wither skeleton. Um, so I built this past. It was a little bit tricky because we're close enough to a blaze spawner over there apparently that uh, we get blazes so I had to be constantly putting up with that uh, and the another project that we had was a thing called the perceptoscope which is a augmented reality viewer that's kind of modeled or inspired by partly modeled after uh, sort of coin operated telescopes from the past which you may not have ever seen one but they used to be common in uh, touristy areas like San Francisco where you could plop in a quarter and it would turn on the, it would open up the, the lens so you could actually look through and there's a telescope and you could see what was going on. You could take a look at it, a closer look at the Golden Gate Bridge or something like that. Uh, so this can do a computer overlay and give you information about what you're looking at, which is kind of cool. Uh, then we had some uh, blinky LED stuff, uh, a Polaroid transparency frame that had a little LED so it could sort of change color over time and some 3d printed lamps that were shaped interestingly and a variety of other things hey I saw you used to spawn right now um, so that's that's that Come on, you can load. And I am wearing armor. There we go. Thank you. So it's the middle of the night. Um, I didn't bring any project of my own. I had uh, wasn't doing too much, mostly because the family stuff that I've been going through lately 
didn't really have a lot of time to work on something uh, but next year next year I will um, and oh, I need glass glug 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 and I need some lapis which will be over here and this will do and a crafting table would be helpful like that very good uh, I brought a 3d printer to Maker Faire and spent most of the time printing out creeper coins I designed a little coin that has a creeper face in it and the kids really liked it and I could not print them fast enough um, they just they went away pretty much as quickly as I could get them printed so so that was what I did um, okay I'm having a problem up here stuff is spawning like all over the place and it's no good so we're gonna do something about that that's my plan for that was plan second plan plan B for today uh, so here's what we're gonna do uh, it's not gonna be super pretty at first but it'll work pop that down and I can put this here and we're gonna make some blue glass do I want regular blue or do I want light blue that's a good question actually let's do this let's do the regular blue it was kind of what I planned on so this may take a lot of glass um, I will take a lot of glass and I probably won't have enough to finish it but the goal is just to put a glass platform up here the advantage of the glass platform is that nothing can spawn on it I don't have to make it super huge and the idea is by making it blue it'll kind of blend in with things like this it'll be a little creepy to just oops to stand on and look down until you get used to it but if it overhangs like this then even if stuff does spawn down below it won't be able to get up here that's the idea at least so I'm going to do this and I will eventually figure out if I want to make it like round um, make it a disc and maybe make it part of the overall design but for right now I just want to get an overhang of glass so that um, I don't I don't have to worry about coming up the stairs and seeing a creeper deciding it's going to try and blow me up. At least that's the general idea. Okay. More glass. So, um, I don't know, not too much else has been going on. You might, you can see here, I have quite a few, uh, quite a few levels, 77 levels. I've been hanging out some at the, uh, at the blaze farm and, you know, digging large tunnels through the nether can wear on your pick quite a bit. And uh, so that's no good. But the nice thing about the mending enchant is that's okay. I can just go through, go uh, kill off a handful of blazes and we're all good. So, and the side effect is you end up with some excess levels of, of experience pretty quickly. And the blazes give off good good levels of experience so I've got a very efficient uh, XP farm 
more efficient than the zombie purifier, although I've been using the zombie purifier a lot too, uh, mainly because I want to have one, my goal was to have one villager or a librarian with, sorry, I wanted to have librarians with each trade, uh, each enchanted book that you could get. That was my goal. And, uh, and I have that now. So I have, they're not always the best, most efficient uh, trade, but I do have every single enchant that you can get in the game. I have a librarian that will give you that enchant. It's not as as I said. It's not always the uh, the highest level of that enchant, and it's not always uh, the cheapest. But I do have it. So I can at this point remake any of my stuff relatively easily. Um, and who and uh, I can start to get geared up ultimately for my for my ultimate goal here with with the villager situation was that I wanted to be able to do the dragon I wanted to be able to take care of the dragon all right so this is kind of cool so from up here it is a little bit creepy uh, standing up here uh, I probably won't want to shape this um, in an interesting way. I'll probably make a disc out of it or something, but the goal was partly to make it less uh, obvious, make it a little subtle. And I need to protect this over here. And I will probably do that with fence posts each side of this walkway. So I'm not entirely done here, but that should help with to make sure that this is lit up. I think that's pretty good. I think what was happening was stuff was spawning down over here and was climbing up to the top. And then I'd come up here and wow, there'd be three creepers and then they'd blow me up and I'd have to repair the hilltop, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Don't like that. So, we have some leftover glass, so that's good. Um, So, let's put the gla glass I can put in here. Put that there. And some coarse dirt, what time is it? Let's go see what this looks like from down below. This might be a little risky, but let's do it. No, you know what? Let's do it this way. will be quicker. So, other than the Maker Fair stuff, I don't really have a whole lot of other news. Um, I haven't been feeling super great, but uh, I'm trying to figure out why. Hey! I had a boat down here. Oh, I replaced the, uh, the dock with slabs so it looks a little bit better. Okay, we can we can swim out here. I love that you can sprint when you're swimming. Yeah, that doesn't look too obtrusive. I got a boat over here. Oh yeah, when it's that small, it doesn't look bad at all. Interesting. Okay, I think that'll be fine. I mean, I'm worried about ruining the uh, the landscape when we have all this. So I don't think anyone will notice a few extra blocks of glass out there. Yeah. 
yeah that that's totally fine okay cool all right hello squiddies So I think I'll leave it at that. This is going to be a short episode. We'll, uh, boop. And, uh, I need to start prepping gear. I need to figure out what went wrong with my portal. And, and, uh, do some exploring. Probably I need to go back to that mesa and collect some, some clay. I don't have any um, and that would be nice perhaps to do some of the interior decoration I need to finish off like here it, we're all just it's all stone I did the floor in here in woods right I kind of like I like that but the walls are they're just kind of icky and gray so it'd be nice to get some color in here and uh, some stained clay might be really good for that so and I'm actually running a little short on on stone because I used so much of it in that walkway in the nether that uh, it's uh, I'm actually running short oops on stone so I need to do some uh, some more mining so look at this we got a little screenshot sunset over the minecraft land party server all right well that's it for now thank you for watching I will see you next time I fix up this a little bit and make all this a little bit safer and work on the next project. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye. Oh, hello, everybody. I figured out what went wrong with the portal. Um, I'm, I'm off by about 60 blocks. I need to be over about 60 blocks that way. So... I'm not sure what to do about that. That's a little frustrating. Um, I don't have any supplies on me to do anything about it right now, but I think what I'll do is I'll just make a little turn here and run that way. Um, this was a lot of work. And I transposed... I, I, I did worse than transpose a couple digits. So the X, I, I, I should have been at X14. Um, and said I'm at X minus 41. So I, I seem to have flopped those uh, the digits and uh, screwed up the, the sign. So anyway, um, th I just wanted to update. That's what's wrong there. And that is that one is indeed under deep ocean. So... Oh, well, um, might be able to do something interesting with that. Uh, if nothing else, that might be a good place to go mining if I start to have problems with uh, mining right around spawn. So anyway, just wanted to give you that little update uh, epilogue. Um, that's that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.